On this week's episode, we're going to take a piece of dowel and turn it into a magic wand. To make this week's project, the only power tool I'll be using is a cordless drill. The wood that I'm using for this project is called Tasmanian Oak, and this piece is about 15 inches long and 1 inch thick. As most of you know, I love playing with resin, and this project probably won't be any different. You can still make this wand exactly the same way without the resin, but if you stick around, I'll show you how we put a resin piece inside. I've now got my dowel snapped in half. You can see there it looks very similar to the secret wood pendant that I made. Before we go pouring any resin, I need to colour these ends up, but before I do that, I need to spray them black. And once they're black, I'm going to colour them with some colour shifting pigments. And I'm going to paint that on by mixing it with some UV resin. If you need to get some of this, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find it. You'll notice that I cured my UV resin with a UV torch. Now if you don't have one, you can simply go put it out in the sun for about 15 minutes and it'll do the same job. Before I pour the resin, I need to make myself a mold and I'm gonna do that by using some packing tape. Here comes the fun part. Now that my resin's all cured, we can start shaping the wand. And I'll be doing that by using this 40 grit flappy disc. It's got a little screw on the back here, and it screws into one of these rubber mounting pads. I'm going to start with the end that you hold. Now just remember, it's your own custom wand, so just make it however you want to make it. I'm just going to start carving it all out until I get a real nice shape.
looks like it's coming along really nice. The handle's pretty much where I want it, so now I need to start concentrating on this end piece, and we'll start tapering it down to a point. Our little flappy disc is starting to get a bit worn out, but I think it's going to hold in there. I've got the tip pretty much where I want it now. It took quite a lot of carving to get it down. It was about 20 minutes or so just to get it right down to where I wanted it to be. Now I'm just going to start working on the middle bit and we'll start getting our final shape. I think that's coming along really nice. Did you notice in that last clip where I kept tapping the top of the flappy disc? That's so I could make all these little flat edges. Now before I start sanding, I just want to put some little detail lines into the wand. And I'm going to do that by using this little engraving bit. Most of you are probably thinking, you got a workshop full of tools, why did you use a drill? And my answer is, I wanted to make this project with tools that most families would already own and that children wouldn't hurt themselves on. The sanding disc and the pad, they're around $20 on Amazon. Now I only went through one pad and it was a used one that I found in my toolbox. I'll leave the links to everything I used in the description. If you know any Harry Potter fans that would love to make this wand, it would really mean a lot to me if you could share this video with them. Well that's all for this week's episode, I hope you enjoyed this one, there's only one more thing left to do, and that's see if my wand works.